ओके गुड इन टू ऑल द जेई मेन्स फर्स्ट फेज कंडक्टेड रिसेंटली दैट इज जनवरी ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ट्वेंटी थर्ड ट्वेंटी फोर एंड ट्वेंटी एट एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन सो ओवरऑल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स रिजिस्टर्ड इज थर्टीन पॉइंट एट लैक्स अराउंड वेर एज एस्टेड ओनली दी अनाउंसड दैट टोटल नंबर ऑफ कैंडिडेट्स एपियर इज थर्टीन लैक्स फॉर दि पेपर वन एंड पेपर टू मोस्ट इज द पेपर वन सो थर्टीन लैक्स एपियर फॉर दिस वन whereas last year unique candidates appeared for the first session and second session is 14.15 lakhs this year also it will cross that 14 lakhs around 14.5 to 15 lakhs are expected this year unique candidates after the second session so now unique candidate because common candidates will be there that we have to remove it of unique candidates appeared in the last year 2024 is 14.15 lakhs in 2024 2023, if we take it, is 11.15 lakhs. It's a much different. Three lakhs more appeared this year. Around one lakh new students may appear, or you can say that compared to last year, one lakh extra students may appear. That around five, fifteen lakhs are expected this year in the JEE mains. Whereas uh, this year, much difference occurred because the 2024 paper, if we take uh, the various shifts they conducted, always the toughest paper, moderate paper, and easiest paper, easiest to Toughest paper there will be a marks difference of forty to seventy marks for the highest scorer. Whereas if we take a, for the <clears throat> moderate to tough paper there will be a difference of say forty to sixty marks. So there will be a much difference of the variance. So within one or two days they are releasing the response sheet. They are releasing the <clears throat> uh, provisional key also by observing that students or parents don't feel any tension because variation will be there marks variation will be there from shift to the shift because this year 28th morning 28th evening shift and 29th morning shifts are considered bit toughest compared to the other shifts and other shifts are the moderate except 24th one shift is easy but all remaining are moderate and 28 and 29 papers morning session of 29 28 morning and evening are the tough compared to other papers so depending upon that papers say the marks will vary i already told around 40 to 70 or 40 to 60 marks variation will be there variation will be there for the qualifying marks also 20 to 30 marks qualifying marks difference also will be there in this papers so that uh, uh, we have to see that will be known after uh, around february 11th or 12th uh, february 12th they are telling result declares then the percentile will be announced at that time only we will get a clear idea and whereas one thing is result will be announced only percentile there won't be any rank there won't be uh any different category ranks also this time because always after second session is over then only they will announce the rank so that you have to remember so to get idea what is 2024 marks percentile and rank for the hard hard paper easy paper moderate paper and also what is the cut off for the 2024 also we can see we will discuss now and also what is the minimum score to get into a good net or average net r triple 18 that also we will discuss now you can go through this pdf now if we see here very carefully uh, the depending upon the papers various papers and an average what happens i i am telling this one on an average if we take uh, 285 to 292 marks 285 to 292 marks uh, in the last year on an average marks i'm talking this is about 2024 2024 285 to 292 they got uh, 15 to 10 rank and 99.993 to 99.998 so this is 2024 whereas 250 to 270 it is uh, 500 to 100 means those who got 270 marks they got 100 and those who got 250 Five hundred rank. This is nothing but an average marks of the last year tough and average papers. And uh, th this is the uh, not approximated. This is the last year real marks and the percentage. I'm telling real marks and the percentage. Two hundred to two fifteen. They got around four thousand seven hundred to two thousand nine hundred rank. And ninety nine point five seven to ninety nine point seven five. One seventy five to one ninety. It is ten thousand to seven thousand. And ninety nine to ninety nine point three four. percentile whereas 150 to 160 21000 rank and 16500 means out 150 marks means 21000 160 marks means 16500 rank where 
and percentile is 98 and 98.5. If I take a 95 percentile, 95 marks means it is 76,000 rank last year and 93.05 is the percentile. Whereas 110 marks means 55,000 rank and 91.70. 80 to 90 means 1 lakh to 90,000 and 90 to 91.71. This is the last year 2024 rank and marks original as it is. But this year, if you take 2023 and 24 as it is, I have given the last year's only 2024 expected. What is that expected? I will tell you. Open general category last 2023 cutoff for the advanced writing cutoff is given as 19.77 and for uh, open category 2024 93.25. This suddenly increases there due to the number of candidates are increased because uh, always percentile depends upon number of candidates appeared. So 2023 if you take uh, only 11.15 lakh students appeared. Whereas 2024, 14.15 lakhs appeared. And this year it is expected that around 15 lakhs will appear. So depending upon the number of candidates, the rank percentile will vary. That be careful. So open category 90.77, 93.25. EWS 76.62, 81.32. OBS, OBC NCL, that is a non creamy layer 72, 79. SC is 51 and 16. ST 37, 46. This is a uh, real percentiles uh, which occurred in 2023-24 for the mains qualification. But this year because percentiles till now not given, this uh, the open category toughest paper 90 marks is moderate paper because they are not given easy papers. 130 marks if you get you will get a qualification in open category. This is a expected only. So next point EDA place. 55 to 80 marks, OBC and CL 45 to 75, these are the marks expected. Whereas, depending upon this, to get a good seat, you have to get 170 to 220. Means toughest paper, if you get 170, you will get a good, good means three tire colleges are there. If you take a NIT Tirichinapalli, NIT Varangal, NIT Suratkal, all these Allahabad, Nagpur, all these are the first category seats. So, if you take a second and third category seats, the uh, if we take the in second category seats, Patna, Delhi, all this will come under second category. Third category is Agartala, uh, Manipur, Meghalaya, all this will come under the third category. Anyhow, these colleges I am taking in the next week before the result of 12th, I will give the college wise. This is approximately I am telling. So, whereas for a good college in a toughest paper, 170 marks, you will get a seat. And easiest or moderate paper, 220 marks, if you will get, you will get a good need. Whereas, if you take a moderate, if you take 150 to 170 marks, you have to get. This is for a good college, 170 marks. And for a normal, 150. 150 to 170, because different uh, papers are there, that I am telling. EWS, these are the marks, uh, means for uh, open category, a good seed, good branch means 170 to 220 you have to get. It a moderate knit, moderate knit if you want 150 to 170. Good college 170 to 220 means toughest paper 170, moderate paper or easiest paper 220 marks if you get, good knit you will get. Whereas a moderate knit if you want 150 marks in a tough paper 170 in an easy paper. EWS 160 to 175. Uh, toughest paper 160 you will get a good knit, 175 in a moderate paper you will get a good knit for EWS. Like that, uh, say, if you take OBS and SEAL and SCST. Next point is, if you take uh, 99 percentiles also, some students actually asked many of them. So for that, I'm telling 99 percentile easy paper is 216, moderate 185 and 160 in a tough paper. So this is the tough paper marks. And uh, remember very carefully, the if you take 98 percent, tell if you want easy paper 192, moderate 161, and tough paper 1. If it is 97 percentile, if you want, it is expected. This is the expected. The previous, all the three charts are the original. Whereas here 97 percentile means you have to get easy 176 marks, moderate 144, and tough 126. In all these marks, also expected means plus or minus 10 will be there. All this will be plus or minus 10 will be there. 95 percentile means 155 for the easy paper, 123 moderate and 107 is this one. So 90 percentile means 120 in easy paper, 90 in moderate and 77 
tough. I am talking about the 90 percentile only because if you above 90 percentile, you are there is a chance of a B category seats also. That is the reason. And uh, if you take the uh, marks wise also, just to, to get idea, just to, to get idea, in the 100 percentile, physics may be 95 marks, 90 chemistry and 70 maths. 99 means 90 physics, 75 chemistry, 60 mathematics, plus or minus 5. Plus or minus 5. If you take 95 percentile, uh, if you get 95 percentile, that may be 70 marks in the physics, 50 in chemistry and 40 in the mathematics. These are the expected plus or 5 marks. Next point, just to get idea because in detail, in detail, I am giving the total uh, different type of NIT colleges of uh, Andhra Pradesh, uh, our Varangal and Calicut, NIT Tiruchinapilli, NIT Suratkal, NIT Allahabad, NIT Agartala to get idea that Sikkim, all that college list with uh, how much rank you have to get, how much percentile you have to get within uh, before February 12th, I am releasing a total list of the cutoff marks or cutoff the ranks and percentiles also to get into a good computer branch. For the computer science, to get into a computer science uh, uh, in these colleges, what are the cutoffs? For a tier 1, tier 2, tier 3. Three uh, different colleges are there, three different types. A good college, average college, a lower average. So all that I will give. So to get idea in the Warangal open category seats in a computer science, last year 3082 is the rank for the boys girls is 4683 and tiruchi 1245 to get a computer science in tiruchi 1245 and for the girls 2850 this is the last after five rounds of josa and two rounds of the spot c c spot round will say spot two rounds these are the cutoffs suratkal computer 1920 and Say girl, for girl 4354. If you take to get idea, I am giving this also. Mizoram 49385 open candidate. Uh, uh, boy got the seat. Whereas 75819 uh, rank girl got the seat. For our Telangana and Andhra Pradesh students I am talking. For other college students that will be another column that I will explain in the next. So this is about uh, different categories of the ranks. Uh, and this college's ranks, etc. I already told, I won't tell now, I will tell separately. I will tell separately before 12. So, only thing is, by seeing the weightage of the marks, that is a response sheet and the key, and the total marks got in a different shifts, the percentile will much vary. That you have to remember carefully. And that too, percentile depends upon the number of candidates appear. Number of candidates appear. So the percentile of a student depends upon total candidates, approximate simple calculation I'm telling. Total candidates minus the number of candidates above you. Number of candidates above you by total candidates. This is called percentile. So it depends upon purely number of candidates appear, not registered also. So depending upon that only, open uh, that cutoffs will also will come, percentiles will also come. This will go in detail in the next thing. So we'll stop here.